Hi everybody, how you all doing? Mark here. This is State of Independent, and today I will be reviewing London Horror Comic number six. Oh, great cover that. Uh, this is a, a horror anthology comic, and we've got four stories in here. They range from a look into the degradation and insanity of modern humanity, and the effects of that on a certain person. Uh, the title of that story is I Saw the Beast. Next you have Strange Fruit, which is an interesting take on the vampire mythos, mythos and a certain part of the vampire mythos, and also a lot better story than Twilight. Way, way better. Uh, next you have Ticking Clock, which was the one that reminded me a lot of the old EC comics. And it, shall we say it's about being in a relationship with somebody where one person wants to have children but the other person doesn't but taken to the next level <laughs> and then ring of fire which is a deal with the devil that goes disastrously wrong which don't they all really uh the whole comic all the stories in here was were written by uh, john paul Kamath, I apologise if I've pronounced your name wrong, um, and it is a fantastic read. If you loved reading the old EC comics, the old Tales, Tales from the Crypt and such uh, from the like, 1950s, 1940s, 1950s, you will love this. Uh, it's a brilliant mix of both humour and horror. Uh, the I Saw the Beast is possibly the darker story out of the four of them, uh, with its slow descent into insanity, almost reminding me a bit of Jacob's Ladder, where you're reading through it and you're 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 reading through this story and you're thinking to yourself, do is this person was this person sane to begin with? Is he? Is this something that modern society has made him be? Uh, then you have Strange Fruit, which, as I said, is a, a brilliant take on a part of the vampire mythos, um, where you have a relationship between a vampire and somebody who's not a vampire, um, but it's completely twisted on its head. <laughs> completely, completely... 180 degree turn on it uh you've also got ticking clock which reminds me so much of the old ec comics uh of old with uh, especially with the it's possibly got more gore in it than the ec comics did have more visual gore to it but it it just works so well and the humor in all four stories just comes through as well not to a point where it overtakes it but it's 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 there as an accompaniment to the horror uh, almost like almost like the old horror films where you know you, you would have something where something would build up and then something would make you laugh and all of a sudden you would get another scare sort of it um yeah uh John Paul Kamath, his style of writing, he, he wrote all four stories in this comic, and the style feels like four different people wrote it. He is a phenomenal writer. Uh, the artists in here as well are just amazing. Uh, I hope I hope to see more of this, um, this comic. This is issue six, and as I said, the cover artwork as well. It's just beautifully done there um i'll just get a name for you for the cover artist is matt dixon uh i actually met uh, john paul kamath at the london super comic con this year 2014 and he is a fantastic guy i had a, a, a little chat with him in that about the comic and it really did seem like it was a, a labor of love for him to produce this and i can tell in the stories that he just loves doing this and this is the so like the, the style of, of comics and stories that he loves to read 
Um, I would definitely suggest, if you like horror comics, I would definitely suggest to see if you can pick this up. Uh, I'll put the link to the website that you can get this from down in the description bar below. Uh, sadly, the first four issues of this are completely sold out. You might be lucky. I was very lucky by being able to pick up the first three issues of it on eBay just recently. I'm waiting for them to come to me now. So hopefully I might be able to do a review on those ones when they turn up, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I also managed to pick up issue five, again, from the comic book convention that I went to. And I'm looking forward to reading that one as well. Uh, if I had to give this a score out of five, it would be a solid five out of five for me. I love my horror comics. I love the old EC style of horror comics. And it is it was fantastic to read. I really cannot wait for issue seven to come out now. Um, yeah, if you get a chance to pick this up or pick up any of these comics, London horror comics, I really do suggest to do so. So there you go. That was my review of London Horror Comics number six. Thank you for watching. If you've got any comments about this comic or the video by hand, or you've got any questions for me about this comic, comment section down below. Love to hear from you. If you like this video, thumbs it up. And if you didn't like the video, it's fairly obvious really, thumbs it down. But if you didn't like the video, say why you didn't like the video. Simple as that. Thank you for watching. Love the comics that you read. And I shall hopefully see you again soon. Ta-ta for now.